May it be easy. Good morning. The Bermuda Triangle has gathered again. Yeah, we're all really busy working here. Mm -hmm. Karem didn't go. Ah. He was to go somewhere? We were sending him abroad, I told you that. Ah. He had a plane ticket and was going to leave. He talked to Erdogan, he didn't go. Why is that? Uh, he didn't say. Do we need to start panicking if he didn't go? What can we do about it? He was looking forward to going abroad, I know it. He nagged at me for days just to get a visa. I really have to wonder why he didn't go now. Did he call you? Did he say he wouldn't go? If so, then it's a threat to us. No, I called him. He didn't call me. Then don't worry. Ah, anyway, isn't it better for him to stay here in order to keep the girl's mouth shut? I'm not so sure about that. She wanted him to go too. Maybe he postponed it because of his Aunt Maryam. He couldn't talk to her. He told me he changed his mind. He actually said, I've changed my mind. I wonder if he wants something from us. Maybe he's out of money. Or maybe he couldn't leave her. I was kidding. You have gotten us in so much trouble. Whatever I try to do, it doesn't work out at all. Then I get more uncomfortable than all of you. We should pay Karem a little visit. You know where he lives, right? You were saying Baycaws or something? I didn't say anything. You're right. I've seen it before in a document. <sighs> Whatever. Manuir, take care of it. Okay. I will. Ah. By the way, we have an executive board meeting tomorrow. There will be share transfers. Oh, I'm aware. I'm looking forward to it. Great, then. Have a good day. You do the same. Arrogant. OK, sir, I have your number. OK, it's up to you. So. If we're interested, we'll call you back. Thanks. Thank you. Once we decide what to do, we'll call you. OK, goodbye. See you later. Goodbye now. Goodbye. This place is good, right, Karem? It's good indeed, but it costs way too much for us. The location's good. I think it's in a great place. Yeah, but can we manage it? It needs new machines, new equipment, all kinds of stuff. But you said, let's take a look. You motivated me. Let's consider this and arrange our finances, all right? You have money in the bank, don't you? The money isn't mine. Did you really give that money to Fatma Ghul? Oh, but Maryam doesn't know about that money, so don't talk about it with her, all right? Tell that to Mukadiz, too. OK, Mukadiz doesn't talk about that. Me neither. I'll do whatever I want with my money from now on. If I want to open a workshop with my money, then I'll do that, all right? OK, OK, I'll help you, too. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> What happened? Tell me, honey. I said, take it. I never once believed that he could do such a thing to anyone. Afterwards, I had the biggest shock of my life when he admitted that he did take part in it. 
I wanted to turn him into the police myself, but later something happened so fast that I didn't understand what was going on. Wouldn't it be great if we bought that place, Karem? We'd be the bosses of our own jobs. But you teach me, wouldn't you, Karem? Yeah, of course I would. My father used to have a small boat and we'd ride in it. Oh, that was fun. We can get a small boat for ourselves. Can we, Karem? Oh, well, well. Yeah, of course we can buy a small boat. <laughs> we can do it. Look, Fatma Gul and Ebenine. Fatma Gul! We took a look at the workshop, Fatma Gul. It's beautiful. It's really close to the street and the creek. Really? Did you like it? Yes, we like it a lot. But we don't have the money. Karem said it cost too much. We'll consider it, though. Karem's going to do it on his own. He's going to save the money, and we'll set up his business. How much money did he want for it? We just looked at it, that's all. Uh, come on. 